Oh, hey people. 31 days of horror gaming, day 10. I'm going to do my best to complete Blackwell Unbound case 1 today. I'm getting a piece of gum out. I figured out what I did wrong in the last one. When I went to uh, Johnny Ivory's, I was supposed to switch over to Joe Way. And I did not, of course, so. So we have to go back and do that. What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Aw, how sweet. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. Notebook updated. Time to go home. Stop throwing cigarettes on the floor, woman. There's a picture of that jasmine ghost in Johnny Ivory's. The same club where Cecil Sharp is playing. This could be a coincidence, but maybe not. It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. Okay, I guess that's it. Phone book. Jam Balaya Records. Did no I spell it for that? What? It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. Can I look at it, woman? It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. It's the photo from John. Oh, woman. I don't think he'd want that. Let's talk to what, him. What did I fuck up on this time? Yes. What are your impressions of Cecil? That guy? I don't like him. He's hiding something, that's obvious. All that charm and smiles is just a front, believe me. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Does Joey have anything hey, interesting you got to minute? say? What is it, Joey? I don't like that Cecil Sharp. Why's that? He's all charm, can't you see that? Um, I don't know. It's not so bad. Just be careful around him, sweetheart. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, let's get on with I'm it. I'm going to try one last yeah. thing before we go back and check the uh, thing again. There's no entry for that. All right, time to leave. Now we got to go back to the bar and look at that fucking picture and get the record company name, and then we got to come all the way come back on, here, and here. we got to look at right the you. phone book. Stupid. Look at the photo. Hmm. This one looks interesting. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm. Might be worth checking out. Was that was that uh, all I had to do? That 
pisses me off. That I'm so stupid, I didn't click on that. Phone book. Here we go. Jumbalaya Records. 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Alright, let's go. Go earn some money for some more cigarettes. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Ta-da! We're not gonna solve this, guys, today. On the door, bitch! The carrot. Good evening. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? Does the name Cecil Sharp. Sharp ring any bells? You know, that name does sound familiar. But, uh, I'm so awful with names, you know? Is he part of a band? Maybe. He plays piano at Johnny Ivory's. Uh, I deal with them all the time. But that's not where I heard the name. Hmm. This is going to bug me all night. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a stand-in or something more long-term? Oh, no. Sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? Here we go. Sure, I've got a copy right here. Great. Let me see. Why can't I show him the picture? So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, by we, I really mean me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. Ask about the job. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Do you know this band? Oh yeah, I remember those guys. The C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah, been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know? Notebook updated. It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. Cecil Sharp to C Sharps. Cute, real cute. Notebook updated. The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the Sea Sharks. I'm brilliant. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Notebook. Was Cecil Sharp in the band the Sea Sharks? Cecil Sharp. C Sharps. Yes! I knew I heard the name from somewhere. So do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. A genius on the piano. Yay! Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Give me that notebook. Alright, let's go.
Head back to Johnny Ivory's, talk to C. Hey, C. Hello there. Open the notebook. What can you tell me about your old band, the C-Sharps? C-Sharps? Can't help you there. Never heard of them. Now, I know that's a lie. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, I did. That... Fine. You got me. Yes. I used to run a band called the C-Sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah, sure you do. About that sax player. Yeah? He's in that photo behind you. So I know he's with the C-Sharps and that you know him. Yeah. What is this? You from that damn magazine? Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? You want to know so badly? His name is Isaac Brown. Isaac Brown? Yes. You happy now? Ecstatic. Great. Notebook updated. Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talking. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just play the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. <gasps> so please, just get out of here. What can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum, a drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also dead. And how did he die? Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Ooh. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't seem very upset by this. No, but last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from The New Yorker. He came along, asked his questions, then bam, Isaac's dead. Really? Mm. Yeah, so forgive me if I don't take kindly to pushy questions. See you later. Yeah. Did we open up anything there? No. Hmm. Joey. Uh-huh. Did they have the New Yorker back in your day? I have no idea. You're not much help. At least we've got his name now. Isaac Brown. Does that name mean anything to you? Afraid not, sweetheart. Still, a name is something to go on. Did they have the New Yorker back in your day? That's right. I have no idea. I gotta close out the conversation and then I That's can it do for other now. stuff. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Ja, we'll talk more later. I don't see what one has to do with the other. I don't either, but I'm stumped. Yep, there's a listing for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. Let's go see if we can talk to him. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. No! The fuck did I not do this time? Cecil? What? About that reporter. I know nothing else about that man. Southern guy. Talked real slow. Asked a bunch of questions. Just leave it, okay? About Isaac Brown. Leave it, lady. The past is dead, gone, and buried. About Isaac Brown. Leave it, lady. The past is dead, gone, and buried. About that reporter. I know nothing else about that man. Southern guy. Talked real slow. Asked a bunch of questions. Just leave it, okay? See you later. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Blow in his ear? He's not really my type. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. Hmm, I'm this stumped. This one looks interesting. Take a closer look. 
Don't mind if I do. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. Hmm. See if she gets me. anything else out of it. The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl, though. I wonder who she is. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. It's the jasmine ghost from the promenade. Nope. Somebody is already playing it. I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. It's his sheet music. He's barely looking at it. He must know the song by heart. I can't just take the sheet music. That would be rude. All right. We've exhausted that area as far as I know. Jabalai Records. Go in, Lauren, Jesus. Hi yourself, again. A book, uh, Isaac that Brown. That sax player from the C-Sharps. His name was Isaac Brown. Does that mean anything to you? No, sorry. I remember the sax player, but I never spoke to him, you know? Quiet fella. Born to play the sax. That's all I know. Do you read the New Yorker? The New Yorker? No. Not really my thing, you know. So you've never heard of a reporter named Mitchell, then? Nope. Okay. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. I'd switch to Joey and see if there's anything. I can't talk to the guy. He can't see me. Go to the bridge, maybe? Mister. Hey, mister? yoo -hoo. I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Ugh, forget it. Alright, Joey, come on, help me out. Hey, do you know where the Guggenheim Museum is? The wife and I have been trying to find it all day. The wife? Shh. I'll be all back, right. pal. Don't you worry. Well, that's the end of this, because I am stumped. Let's go back to the house and see if we can find Mitchell. No, I don't see how those two things are linked. All right, let's see. Mitchell is too common a name. I'll need to be more specific. There are about a dozen Joseph Mitchells in New York. I'm not going to find him this way. I already looked that up. Telefono? Oh, fuck me! I feel like such a tard. Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? 
Hello. Yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. I feel like such a retard. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. It was three rings, woman! You gotta give people more than three rings. Come on, have been let's drinking get out of here. coffee. Right behind you. I feel like such a retard not clicking on the phone. The New Yorker. Yes? Creep Factor McCreep. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. I need to ask you a few questions. Well, there's no harm in asking, certainly. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter or... Research. No, I'm just doing some research. Ah, uh, see. You're a student. More a student of life. Ah, uh, aren't we all? So what can I do for you, Miss Blackwell? I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden oh, no. interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. Okay. Ask about his work. So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people. Like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. I think that's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. We didn't learn shit. Nothing else we can interact with? Wait, well, yeah, I wasn't done! Hmm. Pay home. What do we have now? Any information? No. There's no connection between those two. Hey, Joey. Uh-huh. Joseph Mitchell certainly is interesting. Yeah, interesting. Did you notice his typewriter? No. What about it? There was dust on it, and the paper was blank. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Maybe he uses a pen and paper. Hmm, maybe. At least we've got his name now. Isaac Brown. Okay, that doesn't Does do that anything. Does that name mean anything to you? Afraid not, sweetheart. Still, a name is something to go on. Alright. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. I don't think he'd want that. Let's... No, no, we can't try it the other way because he doesn't have access to the photo. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Go back to Johnny Ivory's we'll see if C has anything new to say. Otherwise, that will be it. Now we'll move on to another pathetic game tomorrow. Cecil? What? About that reporter. I know nothing else about that man. Southern guy. Talked real slow. Asked a bunch of questions. Just leave it, okay? About Isaac Brown. Leave it, lady. The past is dead, <sighs> gone, and buried. Well, that's it. See you later. Yeah. I got nothing new. So, oh, escaping doesn't do anything up here. Okay, option save. Uh... piano bar. There we go. Just in case I ever want to come back to it. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. We'll be doing a new game tomorrow because I don't know what to do and this is really frustrating me because this isn't 
an extremely hard game, but I don't know what to do. So we'll move on to something new tomorrow. Hopefully you'll like that. I will see you later.